Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. The Soulful World music artist, Leron Man, Vegan, part one of two. Continue watching to find out more. When you visit Kabardina Balkarian, you might hear the local people say, Kyunu guys al shibolson, to you. It means, have a nice day in the Karache Balkar language. I'm Sergey. The noble people of Kabardino Balkarian Republic join you on your journey to our true heavenly home. Welcome to our program, the Soulful World Music Artist, Liron Mann, Vegan, Part 1 of 2. The term world music was coined in the early 1960s and refers to the type of music that embraces a wide range of styles associated with different cultures, ethnicities, and traditions around the world. The musicians use conventional or unconventional instruments and often sing in different languages. In the past decade, one of the emerging artists in this category who has attracted much media attention in global audiences is Liron Mann from Israel, a self-taught handpan player and a certified yoga instructor Liron's music is not constrained by set rules, but rather creative, spontaneous, meditative, and spiritual. For those who don't know, handpan is a relatively new instrument created in the year 2000 by Felix Rohner and Sabina Charre in Bern, Switzerland. Made of two half shells of steel glued together and hollow on the inside, the instrument looks like a UFO and has a rich overtone with ethereal and hypnotic qualities. Supreme Master Television team had the privilege of interviewing Liron Mann in December 2019. Liron recounted his musical journey and how he started to play the handpan. When I was six years old, I was walking with my dad in the shopping mall. I noticed a musical instrument shop in the shopping mall. And I saw a piano and I was really attracted to it. And I pointed out for my dad, I want this, <laughs> you know, like a kid. And um, uh, we couldn't uh, afford a piano right away. So my dad bought me a, a small keyboard uh, and I started playing with it. and. Uh, Shortly after that, my dad signed me up for uh, like piano classes and that's how I started my journey. So for me, I always loved uh, playing music. I played uh, since I was a kid, I played piano, I played different flutes I, and uh, I played guitar and uh, other percussive instruments and also other string instruments like mandolin and uh, a little bit like bazooki and saz. I was always attracted to musical instruments, but I never quite found the instrument that I was looking for because I always like to tap on things, like whether I'm on the table eating or if I'm walking in the street or something, I either tap on my body or tap on the table. But at the same time, I like percussive playing with my hands. I also like very much melody 
and harmony to be able to tell a story through a melody, through some notes, musical notes. So when I saw the handpan, right away I fell in love with it. One, because of the sound of the handpan, it's so, so beautiful and so um, inspiring. And two, I really liked the playability. I'm, what, the, what I mean is that you play, you tap on the instrument with your hands and uh, at the same time that you tap, you get a rhythm, a melody and uh, harmony and even overtones. It's such a beautiful uh, way to play music and what, that's what I was looking for since I was a kid. So because it's a new instrument, uh, most of the responses I got in the beginning, now many more people know about it. Uh, and also because of the uh, internet, uh, people exposed to the instrument before they see it the first time live, many times. But uh, before that, when the instrument was still very new, and also it didn't have so much exposure on the internet, people usually uh, come to you and they look at you like they're shocked, they're surprised. What is it? Where is it from? Is it from Africa? Is it from the East? Uh, where is this instrument from? And usually they're surprised. You can see even like the child from inside of them coming out and uh, really get excited. Um, and I think this is uh, some quality that music has on people and also the element of surprise. So many people used to come uh, walking, for, for example, from far away and tell me, oh, I, was, I heard the sounds from far away. I didn't know where it's coming from. And, uh, and I just follow the sound. It was so beautiful. I wasn't sure if it's a harp or a piano or a guitar. And then I come close and I see you. And I never saw this instrument before. And I think many handpan players get the same uh, reaction like that. So usually what you see is uh, the people really excited to discover that there are still new instruments being invented and especially when they sound so beautiful. Let's now listen to the handpan performance by Liron accompanied by the guitarist Simone Moore and composed by Lumino. The piece is called Kafila, which means caravan in Arabic. Radiant viewers will now pause for a moment to hear a brief message. We'll return shortly. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. Welcome back to our program on the indigenous Israeli musician Liron Mann. Liron released an album titled Solo con ellos, or only with them, in Spain a few years ago. 
them in the title refers to the angels that accompany us into this world, according to Liron. They are always with us and they will accompany us when we leave this world. It is a wish to be always with the angels, to recognize their presence, he explained. The album was recorded in five different countries, including Israel, Canada, Spain, Italy, and India. Now let's hear Liron as he shares with us his experience in recording the album. Recording the album took me about nine months. Recording and editing of the album. Um, I went to four different countries to record the album and recorded the album with 19 musicians from all around the world and over 30 musical instruments in the album. Um, so it was my own journey as a musician to kind of reach out to all the musicians that I met around the world while I was touring, while I was traveling and uh, say, hey, I really enjoyed playing with you in the past. Let's do something together. And I'm recording an album. So why, why don't you put your own input as you are part of my process in my life as a musician? you should be documented on, on this album because this album represents my, my progress. Um, so really going from city to city, from country to country, recording this album was such a great experience. Uh, it felt really like giving life to, to music. All my amazing friends, my amazing musician friends that joined on this album, I always say that I am the least good musician on this album, all the other musicians are just amazing and doing such a great job. And uh, that's why I think it sounds alive, the album. Even though we recorded it piece by piece, part by part, uh, it still has a feeling of like a live performance. So currently living in China, I every two months I create new collaboration with different instruments. Um, mainly local instruments, Chinese traditional instruments. So I had a collaboration with Bian Zhong and I had collaboration with Gu Zhang and Gu Qin and uh, Arhu already a long time ago and Pipa and uh, many different instruments, Dizi. So many different uh, traditional instruments also from Mongolia, so the Mato Qin and um, the Mongolian singing and so currently I don't have like a specific project but my life mission as a musician is to keep studying and keep uh, looking for new directions for music and that's what I'm doing currently and I hope to keep doing the same for the rest of my life uh, because this is what keeps my keeps the fire inside me going as uh, in my own personal life, and my professional life as well. Now let's listen to another beautiful piece called Noya, which means the beauty of God in Hebrew, composed by Lumino, with the hand pan by Liron and guitar by Simone.
welcome to our program, the soulful world music artist Liron Man, Vegan, Part Two of Two. Liron Man is one of the emerging artists of world music who has attracted much attention from global viewers in the media over the last decade. In the previous episode, we learned of Liron's musical journey and enjoyed his amazing handpan performances. Aside from music, what are his other passions in life, and how, in turn, do these affect his music? Let's continue our interview with Liron to learn more, and of course. We will have the chance to listen to more of his special, one-of-a-kind music as well. I study、uh, Tao Yoga and also teach Tao Yoga arts, and I'm also a student of natural health in Elima College in Israel.、Uh, natural health is a philosophy that says basically that health is life. Health comes from nature. Um, the idea of it is that the body always have the the force of nature to heal itself. We don't need to、uh, do any activity on the body to to heal the, any problem in the body. But what we need is to allow the body to do the healing process. Very hard to say what Tao Yoga has contributed to my music, but it's very easy for me to say what Tao Yoga has contributed to my life. And since Tao Yoga is affecting my life in such positive way, I think naturally it、um, it's affecting also my music because music is just part of my life, right? So the life is like the the main category, and then music is just. Uh, one subject inside it, so everything in my life is affected by Tao Yoga, and、uh, by those meditation techniques and all those practices that we are doing. And I can say that, as far as music, even though I still play music that I composed before I started practicing Tao Yoga, it's still affecting not just the music itself, but the way I feel when I play, and also. I'm guessing probably what I project while I'm playing music, and、uh, how the audience or the listener might feel. Because my music doesn't have words; it's instrumental mainly,、uh, just a few songs I wrote before. When I play,、uh, I feel like I'm doing. What I love the most, and not just what I love the most, I do it at, in the way that I want to do it.、Um, I'm not steering to the left or right and let myself be affected by、um, other、uh, factors. So this is also the message I would like to share with people through my music,、um, because this is、uh, because this is what I do myself in my life and through music. Then I hope that my music can also inspire people to do what they love and to be true to them to themselves and to do what they believe in,、uh, if it's music or if it's anything else that they do.、Uh, follow their heart and not let themselves be affected by external factors. Just really tr- and truly listen and be aware of what their heart. Uh, is asking from them in every possible moment. Now let's listen to the composition Agam by Liron, dedicated to his first niece. Agam means lake in Hebrew. This piece was originally written as a lullaby and later modified to be more playful and magnificent, like the young girl she is now.
viewers, we'll now pause for a moment to hear a brief message. We'll return shortly. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. Welcome back to our program on the Israeli musician Liron Mann, a certified natural medicine counselor and health conscious yoga instructor. Liron is also a committed vegan. He graciously explained how the vegan diet has benefited him and his life. In my personal life, in my health, uh, vegan diet helped me get rid of a lot of toxins and not introduce so many toxins. There are still things I'm still learning from natural health, but it's a good first step you can take to become vegan. Because when you uh, stop introducing toxins to the body, then your body starts um, extracting those toxins out. But as long as you still introduce to your body some bad nutrition, then it will not extract it. So I feel it in many different ways. Uh, for example, when I used to eat meat, if I got sick, it took me maybe one week or sometimes two weeks to finish the illness process. Uh, but now when I'm vegan, it only takes me like one or two days and already I'm feeling good. So I can feel that my body has a better defense system, defense mechanism. And my body is functioning better, you know. So this is in the physical aspect. And uh, also it affects my, uh, the level of energy that I have. So for example, my performances or stuff like that. So if I have to carry my instruments, go to another country or another city with four instruments and in the same day have, another, have, have a performance and pack everything up and go back home and I have energy the whole day. Uh, I, I, I was never so energetic, even when I was younger and was eating meat. And uh, the best thing that veganism brought to me in my life is my wife. Me and Nancy, we met in a vegan group uh, on WeChat. And uh, we start, we start, we talked a little bit, and later on we met face to face. And she's like, "Oh, you're from the vegan group," uh, and I said, "Yes." And uh, we started talking, and we both got excited. So I think if I wouldn't be vegan, this wouldn't have happened. In another meeting with Supreme Master Television, Nancy kindly explained how she turned vegan. The couple also happily told us about their special wedding. Um, I decided to become vegan in 2015, um, but it took me a year and a half to transition to completely being vegan, mainly because I had to convince my family that I was going to be safe. And to do that, I did a lot of research about the health, the animals. The more I found out, the more I felt like I needed to share this with everybody. So we wanted to have a zero waste a vegan uh, wedding. And uh, we, we were looking for the right places to do it. We had two weddings, one in Israel and one in China. And in both of them, we found people, some of the, some of the like, like photographers and uh, makeup artists. They were also vegetarian, vegan. And uh, of course, the, uh, the food was completely vegan. My name is Nancy. My name is Liron Mann. Be, Be veg, go, go green, green to, to save, save the, the planet. planet. At the conclusion of our interview, Liron expressed his heartfelt wish for himself and others. My wish every day and for the new year as well uh, is to keep improving, keep learning new things, uh, being uh, more aware of myself and my surrounding 
I wish that the blessing that God is giving me every day can be shared with the people I love, with my family, with my friends, um, and with everybody in the world. So since you are already watching Supreme Master Television, uh, it already means that you are looking for or already aware of this uh, beautiful change in the world. Um, so my message to you is keep, keep going in that direction and keep being such an inspiration to yourself and to others. Share this message with as many people as you can and uh, just enjoy as much as you can these beautiful gifts. So thank you for supporting this uh, great cause and this great channel and um, I hope we can all keep being and uh, good to ourselves and do this work. Yeah, thank you. Earlier on, we are deeply grateful to you for sharing with us your inspiring music and well-wishing message. We look forward to hearing more of your creative work in the future. We also thank you and your lovely wife, Nancy, for raising awareness of veganism. May God bless you both with good health and happiness on this earthly journey together. For more information on Liron Man and his music, please visit facebook.com forward slash Liron Man. Kind viewers, Thank you for sharing your company with us today for the soulful world music artist, Liron Man, Vegan, Part 2 of 2. May the human race soon emerge from this challenging time with renewed hope and endless possibilities that bring joy into the world in heaven's grace. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash AJAR.